Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tompo Episode 9, Surrender. Uh, my name is Paladin. I'll be your DM of the evening. And let's go around and talk to our players, see who we're playing with. Let's start off with uh, Mackenzie. Who are you tonight? Hi, um, I'm Mackenzie, Mackenzie Landy on Twitter. And tonight I play Lagaya, the Omens of Knowledge headhunter, whose dad might be trying to end the world, but, you know, we'll brush that one under the rug. Uh, I will toss it very quickly over to uh, Latia. Hi. Hey everyone, I'm Latia. You may know me from such streams as this one. Oops. I will be playing your hair about tiefling mentala wizard, Faiza, who is dealing with family issues. Aren't we all? Uh, yes. <clears throat> Josh. Yeah, uh, I'm Josh. I, uh, yeah, I'm a freelance tabletop game designer, variety streamer. I play uh, Gunny the Volcano Dwarf Ka'al fighter. Um, he is not dealing with family issues right now, but we did get to meet his husband two episodes ago, which was pretty husband wholesome. husband is so good. He's what so good. What a good bean. What a good bean. How are you still friends with us with a husband as good as that? Uh, well... Now what do you need us for? You have husbands. <laughs> you have a husband. Poor life choices, I'm guessing. Just because uh, you're married doesn't mean you don't need friends. Yes, uh, but it's specifically us. Specifically, why this group? You have a husband who is far better than any of us ever will be. <laughs> Nonsense. Uh, of note, while normally we do have Critical Bard with us, he had to deal with an emergency and will not be here this week. Please wish him well. Uh, before we get into tonight's game, we do have some sponsors. Yeah, um, I'll just I'll just go first uh, because I have the first two on the list. Um, we're prepared. I'm very prepared. We know what we're doing. We're professionals. Hello, uh, my name is DJ Simon Says. Uh, you might know me from the popular uh, AM radio station that I DJ for, called If You're Happy and You Know It. Clap your hands. Um, I'm here to tell you today about D and D Beyond. We have a uh, Kunu gift. <laughs> oh no! I looked at I looked at you. I couldn't do it. Um, we 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 have Come some on, cool NPR, new stuff. Come on, NPR, keep going. We have some really cool new stuff uh, in this book that just released called Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. It's available now. It's got everything. Do you want subclasses? Do you want uh, cool new like abilities and features? Do you want all of the customization options you could ever want. Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. It has everything. Um, another uh, classic hit of mine is called Eldritch Foundry. Um, it's a custom D&D miniatures company. You might have heard of them. Uh, they have cool content that they released every week. Um, and this week, uh, they released their new cat person. Uh, it's called The Quit. I think Keith, I don't, I, I, this is the first time I'm looking at my script, if we're being honest. Um, anyways, uh, it's called Kit. Thank you. Thank you, voice in my ear. Uh, to help you get in the holiday spirit, uh, Eldritch Foundry now has gift cards available, as well as the ability to send credits that you've received from Kickstarters or giveaways, and you can give them to your friends, which is wonderful. So um, follow our affiliate link in chat, or you can visit uh, eldritchfoundry.com. There's a hyphen in there. It's Eldritch hyphenfoundry.com um, and you can get 15% off of your order if you use the code Cena underscore Una 15 that is Cena underscore Una 15 uh, that would help support the show uh, thank you this has been DJ Simon Says uh, Simon Says over to you Paladin I guess to really pair well with your DJ radio voice I'm gonna go with annoying YouTuber voice uh, which is going to be, we're excited to be working with Deck of Many. You can head over to their site to purchase the Cena Una book in PDF form and check out all the other amazing products they have for Humblewood, Griffin's Saddlebag, and more. If you want to purchase products from Deck of Many, follow our affiliate link in chat to help support the show and get 10% off. 
I hate that YouTube voice so much. You didn't ask anyone you. to smash the like button or ring that bell. Please or smash subscribe. that follow button. <laughs> and if you have an Amazon Prime subscription, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell so you're notified whenever we're alive. I feel more and more empty as this particular <laughs> bit goes on. Do you like this video? Comment below to tell me what more you want me to see me talk about. Please let's comment get, let's, on let's this live video stream. In chat. Come on, let's see those emotes in chat. Show your support. Let's go. Ring that bell. <laughs> God, is it my turn for the ad? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're not doing that. End bit, end bit, end bit. <laughs> Uh, so our other, uh, another sponsor is Level Up Dice. Uh, we are super excited to be part of the Dicemancy program, especially because uh, we know someone on this show, no one in particular, uh, can't seem to roll above a nine on their D20. And you know, you'd think that on a D20 where there's supposed to be 20 sides, there'd be numbers higher than 10. But like, no, they don't exist. It's fine. I've never seen them. They're not real. It's fine. Uh, but anyways, um, Follow the affiliate link in chat to assist in holiday shopping and support the show. Um, I have been, uh, yeah, do that. Um, and you know, for just two rolls of a d20 a day, you can send some good luck over to people who might need it for their dice rolls. Like I, I, I don't, I don't know, someone whose name shall not be said ever. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's gonna be okay. The guy is gonna survive to next week. It's it's fine. Help. Lockage. Help. <laughs> You'll be fine. We're not focusing on Lagaya this week. Right. It's all it, it's all me. It's all me. Me, me, me. <clears throat> Rock this. If you like geeky content, then you should listen to Rock Punch. They have content like the Reaper Pepper Challenge video, where Dustin Devon Eat an entire Reaper pepper and fry. Or so I've heard. I haven't watched it yet. I really want to watch it. They also have things like uh, films and video games. The D4, the, the good D4, the D4 RPG that was just playing before us and will be playing after us. Wait, 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 Latia, were they playing D4 us? In this week's episode, episode I target episode, Lagaya exclusively. In this episode, episode, what do we do, Paladin? In this, in this episode, episode, what do we do, Paladin? Let me just, in this let me episode, break, let me just break with Tia's ad read entirely for a moment with the term episode. <laughs> Tia, you good? Twitch.tv slash Rock Crunch ATL, where you can get all of the geeky content that you crave, as well as Pompo, where we are and what we're doing right now. Twitch.tv slash Rock Crunch. We thank Rock Crunch so much for uh, letting us uh, fart around for three hours on Friday. Rock Crunch. Go punch your rock. No, don't. Or if you do, make sure your thumb is not inside your hand. Otherwise, you'll break always, your thumb. Always punch with the yeah. thumb outside. That way you don't break your thumb. Yep. This has Back been, to you, Paladin. Uh, oh, <laughs> punching tips with rock punch. Back to you, Paladin. Sure. Uh, so, in addition to our sponsors, we have some giveaways today from our from some of our sponsors. Uh, if you're subscribed to the channel, um, you'll get three times as many entries by entering into chat the following codes. For a set out uh, for uh, a digital Rhyme of the Frostman book from DD Beyond, enter hashtag Beyond in chat. And and again, that is to enter hashtag Beyond in chat to get a digital Rhyme of the Frostman book from DD Beyond. If you're subscribed, you get three times as much, many entries. Uh, only enter once, otherwise, you will be disqualified. Uh, as well, from Eldritch Foundry, we have a free custom miniature to put in to, to give away. And for that, just please enter in hashtag Eldritch. Again, that is hashtag Eldritch to get a free custom miniature from Eldritch Foundry. Make sure to smash that comment button so you can be entered to giveaway. And if you aren't, hit that subscribe so you can get three times as more entries. Hit that plus mark on the sign of the video to see more content like this. Hit me so I don't have to hear this anymore.
So anyways. Anyways. So this episode. Uh, uh, episode noon. Uh, oh, this is gonna this is gonna happen sometime in the session. I know it. Uh, all this said, we enter into episode nine of Tompo. Last we left off, the group had made it onto a flotilla, a collection of boats moving together as a group, some tied together, some not, led by Faiz's parents. Uh, her, her father, Lau, visited upon them, delivering some food, and spoke with Faiza about what had transpired when she was a girl. And it's come to light that the boat they're using right now is incomplete. And they can't use it to sail off unless it's repaired. The mast of the boat, which is what is missing, is currently being held by Faiz's mother, Kaduna, who is on not good terms towards her daughter. The party decided to rest for the night before attempting to take it. Morning comes and the gentle rocking of the sea gives you a very pleasant waking. What do you do when you wake up? Scream. No. No, I don't scream. But Faiza did not sleep well. Um, she's probably been up since the sun started to rise. And she might be the... She's a stressed looking that I've just decided that. Okay. Uh, let's go, Gunny. What do you do when you wake up? Um. Well, we still have uh, the, the things that uh, Faiza's um, father brought to us last night, and so I will um, probably try to prepare some kind of uh, breakfast with the food that we were given. Um. If I remember, the, if I'm reading this right, uh, you wake up, Faiza, you're cooking? Gunny, you wake up too, Faiza, cooking. No, no. Someone has taken my role. What do I do? I don't know. I guess I'll make tea. Faiza, are you already making tea? No. I have Hi. purpose again. Thank you. Good morning. I couldn't sleep made food mm. you can make tea no thank you thank you it looks it smells very good it... thank you thank, thank you for you sir um you said you didn't sleep well no mm. i'm sorry to hear that it's not your fault no it doesn't mean i can't be sad that you didn't sleep well She looks at you and then she just like goes back to like the thing. Lagaya, what do you do when you wake? Hello. Um, I'll pop into the kitchen, see if anyone needs any help. Um, and seeing that it is occupied by two people currently, I will say good morning. And then uh, if I am not, unless I am needed or stop, I will go out to the deck of the boat and do my uh, daily ritual. Okay, so to illustrate the size of this boat, uh, Malanga is uh, the sleeping area is the same as the kitchen. Ah. So you just wake up and just see uh, Faiza cooking food and Ghani uh, very, very focused on tea making. Um, I'm assuming you've got it covered. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, I'll be outside if you need me. Okay. Um, the food will be ready soon. Okay. Um, yep. And I will go outside, um, sort of set up my ritual, get out like a little bit of incense to burn, um, and commune, do my daily communing with my ancestors. Okay. Eventually the food is cooked and the tea is steeped. 
and you all have breakfast. Quick question. When I do my communion with the ancestors, I did want to ask, um, is my dad within one mile? <laughs> Your dad is not within one mile. Okay. I can, I can breathe. If he is a the guy just stops breathing. Yes. The guy will panic. But she is good. She will join the others. Okay. What do you all do? So <clears throat> we needed a mask, a uh, mast, right? Mm hmm. Um, and that's uh, talking with your mom, right? Mm hmm. And um, we're not looking forward to that, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Do you want us to be there? Mm hmm. We could try to steal it. I would not recommend that. See, here's the thing. I'm not entirely sure that stealing it would be easy if that just didn't think of it. And we're stealing it to, what, repair the relationship with, uh, and I'll gently pat the boat. Yes. I, I highly, I, not really as versed in the way of spirits as others, but I, uh, kind of doubt that uh, repairing a relationship on somewhat illicit terms will actually end well. Yeah, I, you're right. How will it know if we steal it back? Well, I mean, it is kind of listening to us right now. We're, We're not going them. to steal it back. Yes, because we're not. Don't wink. No, we're not. We're not. I'm not. I'm not stealing. I'm not stealing. I mean, can I roll our? Can you roll it's, a what? I'm getting there. It's like, can I roll an insight on the either insight or arcana on the spirit of the boat? Is it? angry that it, I mean, is it upset that it doesn't have its mast? Um, it, you'd have to have some way to interpret, uh, interpret it. Currently, you're just looking at a boat. Right. Okay. Um, I don't have any, I can't commune with anything. Which sucks. I don't know. I feel like the boat's already angry enough, right? I exploded it, and then the mast is gone, and then it hasn't been sailed for a while. Nobody will come near it. It's just not happy. And the spirit of the boat was my friend. So. I don't know what to do. So it sounds like the only option is for you to talk to your mother, then. Yeah. If that does not go well, do you want us to be ready to steal it? Well, okay. So here's the thing. Like, it's really only necessary if they 
also are unwilling to get us back to Putawanan, right? Because if they don't want to take us to Putawanan to get um, Talarok's boat, then we're kind of screwed. Um, I mean, alternatively, we're on off the coast of Kandaya, uh, which, if I recall correctly, is where Talarok's from. Uh, we can always just get dropped off there and see if Talarok's community will help. Uh, I know Talarok wanted to check on his sister as well. That's true. Okay, so at least we have another option if this doesn't work out. But, I mean, I don't know what I did to make my mother so angry, you know? I mean, clearly I did something super dangerous that endangered the life of my father and my mother, but like I was, I'm her daughter. What is so terrible that you don't talk to your daughter? You send your daughter away. And like Faiza is like staring out into the middle distance and it's like the first time she's ever asked these questions. Like what is so terrible about that? I'm sure Gaya. it's just a misunderstanding. And then I will just gently put a hand on Faiza's shoulder. There's only really one way to find out. Yeah. So yeah, I guess I'm talking to my mother. Uh, will you all come with me, please? No, of course. I mean, you're dealing with my father, so... L literally the least I can do. Okay. Um, I'll send my Musong to my pops. Okay. Um, Musong uh, starts walking and chasing around in the flotilla, heading from boat to boat. Um, I send it with a note because I did tell my father that um, when I sent it, it was going to be time to enact the plan, but we're not doing the plan. So I send him, I send my Musong with a note that says, please come to the Balangai. Okay. Um, so I, I will say this hotel is about a hundred or so people. It's going to be a while. That's fine. Okay. Um, time passes and eventually you see Ilao coming over to the boat. Uh, he does that same kind of shimmy walk he does where he puts his wooden leg onto the, the rope tie line and you see that those kind of vines erupt out and wrap around the rope as he walks forward. Hi. Good morning. Did something uh, change? Yeah. Um... As they exchange hellos, she's going to kind of do the awkward, I would like a hug, please. He he goes in for a hug. And it's really one of the first times that you've had a hug in a long time, where the person you're hugging is the one kind of commanding the hug, more or less, because they are much larger than you. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, so... We decided, I mean, yeah, we, we decided. Um, it might anger the boat further if we s stole the mast. Also, one of us is averse to stealing and we are a team, so we're not gonna do that. I think I need to just talk to her. I don't want to, but I, I feel like I have to. Are you sure? No. But uh, I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. I can try and make sure that no one will bother you while you talk to her. 
Uh, yeah, as I, I have a feeling that, um, you know, I show up like, Mamai, hi. And then she's going to be like, I have something to do. And then, you know, it's never going to happen. So, yeah, that would be really, really great. Okay. Let give me a give me a minute to to get her uh, busy with something and get people away from her, and then you should go in. Okay. Should I wait? Should we wait here or? I mean, you can wait here or you can wait over there. It just it's to get people away mostly. Okay. Um. Oh. We'll wait here. Okay. I, I think. Um, and I then don't she have a Musang to send your way, so no, no. And then she prudent. No, she 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 picks up her Musang and then she like puts it on his his shoulder and just says, "Send him back when." Okay. And with that, your father heads off towards the rest of the flotilla. I don't, do think, I don't think I should have eaten y'all. I don't feel good. Um, have you I had any tea? There's ginger in it. It'll help with the stomach. She doesn't say anything. She just walks back into the domicile and like almost chugs the pot, really. Oh, <laughs> tea. <laughs> she has a cup of tea. rest of you? Wait. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a, a good a good 20 minutes pass before your move song returns. By Isa. Okay. I, I put him up on my shoulder and I look at everybody and I say let's let's do this. We'll be right there. The entire way. Yes. Cool. If um, if things go poorly, and we need to do something um, different than talk, just let us know. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. And we go. Okay. Whee. You make your way through uh, the flotilla and you pass by people, some of which kind of look at you, Faiz, and look at, you, look at your group with some level of recognition. But they give you, kind of stay out of your way, essentially, as much as they can as you traverse the different boats. Um, eventually, you come upon a very familiar boat, uh, a, a massive ship at near the heart of the flotilla. Uh, while not being used for war specifically, um, this this Karakoa uh, rests comfortably in the middle of the flotilla, bobbing up and down it's two levels towering over the rest of the boats around it. It's been adopted for a home usage. Uh, not, not one for war, not one for carrying an army. Uh, there are different curtains and wooden walls erected. And near the head of it, you can see your father who waves to you and then heads off to one of the other boats as well. I walk up. Okay. Walk up to? Um, my, well, is my father standing near my mother? No, you don't see your mother. Oh, okay. Um, uh, 
but then I, I look for her. Okay. Um, you look around the boat, and, not, and while she's on the outside, you hear some humming and the sound of wood carving inside. Is there um like a is there a partition of sorts keeping yes. okay is a is a door or a curtain curtain um, I'm trying to think would what if I ease a knock on a curtain yes yeah, she would um she <laughs> so Faiza walks up to the curtain. And like motions for everybody to like come stand behind her, like not super close, but not super far away. And then she like, the same way she did as a child before things happened, she like wiggles the curtain. Uh, you hear the humming stop and in an alarmingly like very pleasant voice you hear you know i can't hear the curtain you have to knock on the wall or just come in come on uh she gives like she 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 has like this super sad smile on her face but she um like pulls the curtain back like just enough for her head and like sticks her head in um looking over at the curtain you see your mother with a bunch of wooden spears near her and a bunch of branch that she's carving out with a knife she looks at you and as your eyes meet you see the smile she had fade away oh You didn't have to say goodbye when you were leaving. And she goes back to carving. Um. One, sorry that I'm not uh, who you were who you were expecting. Clearly, and two, um, not leaving yet. I came to talk to you. I don't have anything to say to you. Well, I have something to ask of you. What? I want to take the boat. I need the mast. It's no. clear it's clear no one's using it. No. Why? It doesn't belong to you. Well, you're not getting much use out of it. No, but I'm keeping it on hand. For what? For when I have it... my daughter again. I'm right here. You are not my daughter. Yes, I am. What is your name? Faiza. And you're not my daughter. You can go. Faiza turns to leave, but she just pulls the curtain shut instead. And she turns around and she's like, what did I do? That Are was... you inside the room? Oh no, I'm I'm inside. I shut the I shut I shut the curtain with myself still in the room. Gunny and the guy are just out, outside the room, just like. <laughs> do you wanna? Do you wanna? No, I don't think. Sit you down. Just, do you wanna I'm go? Just gonna stand right here. We're just gonna stand okay. awkwardly outside the okay. door. Okay. Uh, one on each side, just like. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what to do. We can clearly hear what's going on inside, but we can't do anything about it. So we're just here. As the curtains close, 
you no longer hear what's going on inside. Oh, good. Awesome. Took her away from me. You have her face, you wear her clothes, but you are not her. I am her. What's your name? My name is Faiza. I didn't give you that name. My husband didn't give you that name. And yet you look just like her. And you are not her. I don't know where she is. But when Mayara gives her back to me, she can have the boat. You? You broke it. You broke it when you came here. You broke it when you arrived. I have nothing for you. Can I make like a, like an intelligence roll or something to figure out what the heck she's talking about? Uh, how? how? Justify the justify intelligence to me real quick. I mean, or or, or wisdom, like to try and remember. Like, I've, as far as I know, I've always been Faiza, but she clearly thinks that something happened when I did whatever I did to the boat. So can I try and remember what happened? Go for it. What's it going to be? Uh, can you roll me a, a wisdom check? Uh, I can say you can do wisdom insight, but with disadvantage. Wisdom, insight, with disadvantage. Okay. Okay. The three. You don't know. I mean, you can piece some of these things together. You remember scribing, writing on the mast. You remember something happening. And in a blur, you remember being left with your grand relatives. But the exact details still elude you as to what happened. So like, there's this like, almost like m manic look in her eyes. She's like, Mama, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't get to call me that. She says as she slams one of the spears into the ground, standing up. You are a stranger to me. And if I wasn't half as smart as my daughter, I would be fooled, just like him. You cannot fool me. I Don't know you what you are. Then what am I? If you're half as smart as I am. You're what took my daughter away from me. Can I roll insight on her? Go for it. That's a 13. 13. There's just this overwhelming sense of sadness and the, the sense of helplessness while talking to you. Fuck. I don't know what you've convinced yourself happened or what spirit came and took me off. But I am your daughter. Then what's your name? I gave you one name and for seven years you knew yourself by that. And then you call yourself Aiza. I didn't give you that name. What name did I give you? Can I make another wisdom check? You can try. All right. Sweet. Straight wisdom? Straight wisdom. 15. 
15. You remember when things, when you remember writing on the boat, you remember carving into the boat, just something to pass the time. And you remember that it started to shine brightly and you remember a woman screaming. She was calling out to you, but you are trying to place what she screamed. So you see, like, Faiza, like, starts to squint, and she... God damn it. I don't remember. I don't... I don't remember. It's because it is not yours to remember. Whatever you did to that boat, whatever you did to the eel, you took my daughter away from me too. And I could forgive you if I knew where she was. I don't know where she went. All I have is you pretending to be her. But I'm right here. And you are not her. I go back and forth and back and forth. I'm right here and I am her. And it can't remember. That I'm trying to remember. I can't remember. Why can't I remember? Filled your head with all these spells, writing, and magic. You got where you put my daughter. She pointed the mask. Do you even know who this is? What they meant to me? Is there writing on the mast? There is writing on the mast, and it looks familiar. Can I see what it says? You... I'm going to need to make an intelligence check to read it rapidly. Um, It's a nine. Uh, It can be Arcana. Nine. It's a 12. It's a 12. You look at it and you see two names. Um, You see the first one uh, paired with a drawing of this eel covered in lightning. You see the name Igat Kidlat, which I will type in in the Zoom chat for you. Um, But you see another name as well. You see another name surrounded by, with a set of horns near it. You see the name Aptik. And Faiza will point to it to straight up, like, is that my name? She looks at you and follows your hand and looks at the mast. And she looks back at you and that anger has broken and you can see her eyes getting red. Is that you? 
my little clever one? I've always been here, my mic. I'm sorry for forgetting. She drops the spear she was holding and you realize that as as she was talking more and more there was a kind of sense of fear coming from her and her grip was tightening on this but she lets go and starts walking towards you and at first it's a very slow step and it gets faster as she slams into you and just holds you steady right where you are she taller than me? She is a little shorter. Yes. I do the like it I do the 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 slow, like hesitant arms coming up, and then I hug her. In your arms, she you hear a muffled Where did you go? I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm here now. You're here now. I'm sorry for leaving you behind. I don't say anything. I just, I like, I I damn near squeeze the life out of her. (laughs) And just start crying. <laughs> Who told you your name was Faiza? I don't know. Like I pull away from her and I look her dead in her face. I don't know. Until I saw the mast, it's all I could remember. I really missed you. I missed you. She pulls you back in and you realize that your mother is is a seed-driven woman and has a much higher strength score than you. That's where I get it from. <laughs> oh, Mama, I left my friends outside. I mean, they can't hear us. I know, but I want you to meet them. Bring them in, please. And I go and I like, I like pull the curtain back and like you, both of you see me with like tears in my eyes, like and this huge smile on my face. Shut up, Lagaya, Jesus. <laughs> that was Mac. That was Mac. Lagaya would have, Lagaya has more respect than that. For context, people, sometimes we tell each other, each other jokes in this Zoom chat, and Mackenzie's a plague sometimes. <laughs> Hello, yes, it is me, the plague. The, the plague of jokes. And, um, I literally, I grab both of you by the hands and I like yank you in. <laughs> I think Gani is in the middle of showing me how the Astingal works as we're waiting outside. Oh, Jesus. I'm so like, you j- So as, as you pull us in, you like- What? <laughs> are, are effectively like peeling us away from a shooting lesson. And I go, oh, 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 and I'll try to like put it away carefully and unload the weapon. I'm um, assuming everything went okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mamai, this is Lagaya, and this is Gani. Um, Talarak is back at the boat because he got hit real bad. Uh, but these are my friends. Hello. Um, I am Kaduna. I am Abtik's mother. I look at Faiza. <laughs> I also look at Faiza. 
uh, it's the grimacing emoji with uncertain eyebrows on her face right now. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, sorry, my, my name is, my name is Aptik. Mm. Um, okay. Uh, well, it's, um, nice to meet you, and I will bow. I will similarly nod my head towards, uh, Aptik's mother. Um, Aptik tells me you wanted the mask? Uh, well, I mean, it's not a necessity. Now, I, um, so we were in, uh, oh Lord, um, So prior to finding you on the island that we were in, we were in Putawanan, on Putawanan. And um, I got, we got to go to the, 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 the gala of the Jeweled Hawk. And, um, which was very, very nice. Uh, but through some skullduggery, we ended up here a long way from Butawanan. So if you're going in that direction, we could just go with. We aren't. We are heading over to Kelahan. Okay. Then, yes, with your permission, we would like the mask to fix the Balangai so that we can get back to Putawanan because our friend Talarak has a Balangai there as well. Of course. Um, your friends look strong, yes? Yeah. I mean, I'm strong, too. They're all strong. They they can take the masks. I think you and I should talk. Catch up. Yeah. I'd like that. Do you guys, do you mind? No. Nope. Uh, yeah, if you're, oh, if you want to stay, we'll happily take the uh, mask. Yeah. Um, like, like Mama said, we have some things to talk about. Um, but yeah, Talarak can help you put the mast back on the boat. Yes, uh, yeah. he and I have worked together to repair a boat before, so uh, we can do it again, I'm sure. And I should learn so I can repair my boat when now, I get yes. it back at some point. We'll, we'll have a boat building lesson. Can we figure out how to shoot the Astingal first? Uh, absolutely. Yes. Um, okay. Let's carry the mast, and then yeah. um, while uh, Talarok um, eats breakfast, we can I can finish teaching you how to use it. Okay. Um, yeah. And I will go help. I will pick up one end of the mast. And I'll get the other. And we will. We'll walk back. Excellent. Um, as you talk with your mother, uh, she talks about what's been happening in the past, you know, while since you've been gone. Um, and as you're talking, she pulls out, uh, a small little hammer and, uh, a very sharp thorn, about an inch long. Um, and offers to tattoo you. Yes! <laughs> oh, congrats! You're getting your first tattoo! Oh my god. This is you're gonna, make me, you're gonna make me cry all over again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'd be honored. Yes. Um, she smiles and sits you down 
as she begins the slow and at times kind of painful work. We are talking about a piece of thorn that is being tapped into your skin over and over. Yep. The traditional way. Um, meanwhile, Gani and Lagaya, you are hopping up a mast over to a ship, which is understandably very difficult anyways, but you're also having to do it while walking from boat to boat. Yep. Which sometimes change very slightly in how separate they are from one another. Yes. Uh, which is like, makes sometimes makes Gani have to like walk a little bit faster or make Lagaya slow down. Or sometimes you have to like try and hop together at the same time from boat to boat set or so on and so forth. It's not a, it's not a fun task, honestly. Uh, especially when it comes to walking across walking across some rope to get back to the actual boat you're trying to get this to. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a comedy routine. Yeah, no, I'm entirely just 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 yelling pivot at each other. I'm and confident. Just one one end slightly taller than the other because Gani's shorter <laughs> and just yes. shot one. Sometimes Lagaya lifts it up and Gani goes up off the ground. It's it's a three suitors <laughs> routine if one of the suitors was just covered in bruise and was sleeping it off. Yes. Um, I'm sure that we accidentally, uh, you know, clothesline at least one or two random passerbys. It's, <laughs> it's just, it's horrible. Yakety sax is playing in the background. At some point, you definitely, you definitely like, um, you definitely like get someone, someone's fishing line hitting onto the mast, and they're like, "Can I, can I get that back?" Please? Oh, uh, yeah, no, sorry. We only tangle it further before untangling it. Uh, the hook some, almost some hits one of us in the eye. <sighs> at some point, someone definitely thinks you're stealing it. Because they have no idea who you are, but they know that Kaduna cherishes that mask. I'm like, hey, hey, what are you doing? Taking. We're repairing the boat. Yeah. And like they they pull out they pull out a knife, and someone else goes, no 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 no, they're, they're with Atik, they're with Atik, and they go, are you sure? Yeah. Put the knife away. This is. What are you doing? Uh, and they and they offer to help you with moving the mass around, but they realize that like it, it, there's already two people on this. It's really a two person job, and they'd be in the way. So they kind of like awkwardly like, "Sorry." Uh, yeah, no, you're good. Um, yeah, we're just repairing Abtik's boat. Yes. Fam Abtik's family boat. Yes. Uh, could I get an acrobatics check from Ghani? <laughs> God. <laughs> As I hook you. Aha! <laughs> oh god, I can't believe um, this is happening while Latia's having a super emotional moment. That is a 14. I feel like that's pretty successful for me. At some point, uh, the guy like, jumps forward a little too soon, and you get dragged along at that same time. The boats kind of move apart at the exact same time, so you fall into the water, and when the guy tries to step backwards to readjust herself, you get pushed a little further underwater by the mast. Yes. And so that... all the guy here just like, oh! as I'm moving, sorry. Moving I'm sorry. Water. I can't hear you, Gutty. What's up? I'm you, like, as I'm you... not looking because I'm caught hidden by the mat. Gunny, you okay? <laughs> oh, help. I'm sorry. What was that? Do you do you need as I like lean forward to try and see what's going on? Like you look around, you don't, you don't see Gunny. You you assume he's gone somewhere else, and like you kind of like. God. Move the mask like under your shoulders, trying to figure out where he is, and you pull up. And push like, him. He's holding onto the mask, waterlogged, just kind of like breathing, having, and you hear him behind you, and you turn around, and you just don't see him because he's not behind you. And you put the mask down, like where did that man go? And he's back under the water, trapped by a boat and the mask, just like. <laughs> yes, that is exactly what happens. <laughs> oh God. That's the bit in Yakety Sax where it goes wah 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 wah. <laughs> Uh, hi, I'm a DM of Emotional <gasps> Whiplash. <laughs> oh, God. Lagaya will apologize profusely once she realizes what's happening. Uh, wow. Oh, my God. I oh, <sighs> God, I am so sorry. I didn't realize you were under the water. Otherwise, I would have pulled you out sooner. No, it's okay. I just... You I, sure? I, I just... I tripped. I tripped and I fell in the water. Um, it... it, it 
<sighs> it was all an accident. Um, uh, okay. Uh, uh, wow, that was that was that was an adventure. That, yeah, we still have like three more boats to go. Uh, you look I, over and you realize the flotilla is constantly shifting. You're about eight boats away now. You never lost mind. time. Uh, We're eight boats away. This it's, is honestly more challenging than fighting the uh, the the creature yesterday. Yeah, no, I I I might take the lasers again. Yeah. As we're sitting on some random person's boat. You now realize that you have been on someone's boat doing this. And you look over, and you're looking at a family of seven who are just wordlessly mouth agape staring at you. Hi. Yeah. Um, we're taking this back. Yeah. Um, don't fight snakes with lasers, kids. Thank you for your one, hospitality. One of the kids speaks up. I wasn't gonna do that. It don't. Wouldn't recommend it. It's very wise. Yeah. One of the kids who is a little older and like a little rebellious and thinks they're really cool looks up from chewing and just goes. We nod in that awkward understanding of we're older and. Yeah, you're cool. Yeah, you're cool. Whatever, and just sort of huck the mast. <laughs> keep yes. going. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep going, and I'll try. I'll try a better job of keeping up this time. I'm gonna. I'm Do gonna you want to be in the front this time? Um, it doesn't make a difference. Honestly. Are you sure? It's it's all right. Just okay. keep going. We're we're okay. almost there. It, the sooner we get there, the sooner we're done. God. I feel like I pick it up and I pick it up with enough force that it forces the other end down and you kind of go face down into the do into the, the deck just for a hot second. Nope. I dropped it. I dropped it. It's fine. Okay. It's a, you good? Everything's you sure? okay. You sure? It's fine. It's fine. Sure? It's a little yep. harder now because like one end of it is definitely like soaked and slippery. Yeah. Uh, and you're pretty sure you see a little bit of blood. It's... Everything's fine. Let's, you, let's... you sure? Gunny mm -hmm. says as just down on the side of his face. Let's keep going. To be fair, I've seen Ghani look worse. <laughs> As in coming out of a bunyasness worse. Everything's fine. Let's keep going. Okay. Okay. I forgot I did that to him. <laughs> I forgot I did that to him. Literally I, only like four sessions ago. <laughs> I legitimately had a moment where I was like, what are they talking about? <laughs> yes, no, you swallowed Ghani. You were a bunyasness who swallowed Gunny, and Gunny opened up the the side, the, the inside, and saw things going wrong, and then went nope, and went back inside. That is right. Yes. So I I've literally seen now. Gunny worse. Yep. Um, yep. Eventually, you make your way to the last boat. Now, looking at at this rope walkway, which you realize uh. is pretty inconvenient, and you knew you would be doing this ahead of time. So you could have done something to prepare for this, but currently your challenge is now to walk a rope while holding a ship mast. Could we instead use the mast as our bridge and walk over and then just like pull it over once we're on the other side? You can try. Okay, I think we should stand it up and then tip yeah, it over hold, as oh, our bridge goodness. and then wait, get just, over. Gunny, wait one second. Yes. I'm going to take my grappling hook and put it like, cause there's one rope already. I'm gonna put it on the other side of the rope, sort of hook it across. Okay. That way it has some guide rail so that the log, the, the mass doesn't roll. Mm, that's a good idea. It's a very good idea. Can you make me a dexterity check? I mean, I can, tr can I make an attack with my grappling hook instead? You're not trying to uh, hit a, a moving target. You're trying to. I'm get trying a boat to hit a boat. Excuse on you. In a very specific way. <laughs> okay, I'll make a dexterity check. Say a boat is technically a moving target. I was like, come on. <laughs> That's a natural twenty. You just kind of like, I got this, and you throw grappling hook, and you got this. It's perfectly in line to support this mass to be where it is. In fact, it's not even slipping to and fro, and there's no chance of it at all of somehow slipping off down the middle, 
causing anyone who was on top of it to fall down into the water too and deal with a person who may or may not be able to swim and also a sinking mast. That won't happen. I'm very impressed. And I look at Lagaya and I like I put a hand on her shoulder. I say, Lagaya, that was very impressive. Almost uncharacteristically cool of you. Are you okay? Um, I'm going to just chalk that one up to my brother. Helping, teaching me how to do cool shit. Hmm. Uh, yeah, no, usually I wasn't expecting that to work. Well, I am very proud of you. Perhaps you are turning a new leaf. God, I hope so. Let's let's get the mast over. Before I will whisper a silent thank you to my Kuya, wherever he may be. <laughs> in the grand either. Uh, down the Black River in the underworld, just be like, thanks, bro, and go across. Okay. Um, you, you drop the mast over, yeah? Mm -hmm. Um, and it slams into the front, uh, post of the ship. Mm -hmm. Huh? It's fine. Everything's fine. We get to find out something, boys and girls. This is a good idea. You hear a slight crack. It's fine. Talarok knows how to fix boats. As the boat starts to tip forward a little bit. No, oh, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. And then you hear a crack as it settles back down. Can we gently put the is everything mask in one piece? Down? Everything is still connected. Is the boat, can we see if there's a leak in the boat? Is there visible damage? There is visible damage. It looks like you've you've cracked part of uh, the rails and part of the floor of the boat. No, who needs that? It's fine. Uh, I think we might need that. It'll 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 sail without that. It's uh, almost okay. as if as that was where all the pressure and damage uh, expressed itself when you threw a mast onto one end of a boat. And, and I, I don't know what you're talking be, about. I was trying to be gentle. I'm. One of us fine. is trying to be gentle. The sea is not gentle. Everything, everything's fine. We're gonna fix uh, that. It's not a big, it's not a big hole, right? I mean, the whole hole. point is for us no, to it, apologize to the boat, and we're just making it worse. It looks, it looks like a, like a, a seam in the wood. Is what it looks like. So well, something that could be fixed mended. with a mending spell. Uh, as the entire object is more than one foot across, no. Hmm. But what if we just wanted to fix one? foot square what if we... section of it. Yeah. It takes into account the size of the object. If in any dimension is more than one foot across, the spell fails. I am severely disappointed. Okay, hear me out. What if we uh -huh. cut up that bit of the boat, mended it, and then reattached it? How would you reattach it? With a hammer and nails. Do, do we mm. have those? Do we have any of that? I hope that Talarok does as a boat builder. Can we just ask for like help? Do you have a whole like? Can we just ask for some boat repair tools? Oh, uh, sorry. I, I I need to correct myself on some ruling. Um, it's not if the average is more than one foot across. It's if it's if the uh, damage itself is more than one foot across. Uh, the answer is still yes. Therefore, the answer is still you cannot use mending. That's why I'm like, can we just get boat building tools? Like, I know my way around a boat. Okay. We can probably just... Okay. If we're going to be sticking the mast on a boat anyways, it will probably need tools. All right, fine. Fine. Yes, we should probably ask for help, I Yes, suppose. we should probably ask for help. <sighs> Especially because the whole point of this was to fix the relationship with the boat and us beating the boat to pieces okay. is not hoping to fix the boat but or the relationship. Technically, technically, it was the mast that harmed the boat and the mast is the boat. So we cannot be blamed if the boat accidentally I causes harm to itself think through, you know, a, a manner It works. Of, I feel like it should count. Um, well, we can try. Let's go. Talarok. Talarok. 
Wake up, help. I need you to help us repair this boat. Uh, you see, T you see Talarak try and get up, but as you look, as you look at them, um, you realize that there is a bruise covering their entire body. Uh, and no, 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 lay down, lay down, stay. No, it's fine, we got it. Uh, and they lay back down, and and you see, uh, Bayani just, <laughs> and, uh, translucently pat, uh, Talarak's head. And you realize for the first time that, for once, it is Bayani that is frustrated that they cannot actually touch. Hmm. Bayani, you know how to heal people. Can you heal Talarak? It, it's not, that's not how. Bayani, uh, that, that's not can how you understand works. me? Yes, she's a spirit. Dang it. It's like I'm not even here. Uh, Bayani shoots you a glance like I am just... Don't look at me like that. I don't commune with, I don't commune with spirits like you. You're out of my department. And then looks back at, uh, Talarak. Okay, um... I don't know who we should ask for help because Talarak is the only boat let's builder get, I know. Let's get, let's get the boat. Let's get let's just let's just haul the mast over oh, to oh, yeah, our yeah. boat. Okay, okay, and okay. We get across, and then I'll get my grappling hook back, and we can go ask around the flotilla. I'm sure someone here knows how to fix a boat. Mm, uh, I That's would hope how so. People on boats do. I would very much hope so. Otherwise, we would be in a lot of trouble. Oh goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. And and we'll okay. pull the mast over. And uh... I'm picking up my grappling hook. Yeah. Uh, we'll 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 do that. I'll make sure that uh, Talarok has a little bit of food. Uh, you know, some leftovers from breakfast. A little tea. Um, uh... Uh, real quick. So you you got the mast on the boat? Yes. We'll pull we it try over. to. Yes. Okay. You're able to with with the ropes. Um, and as you do. Uh, you notice that all the writing and all the line work on the mast start glowing. Uh, oh, it's working. It's working. What do you mean it's work? What? I, I, we're supposed to repair the boat to make the spirit happy so that we can fix the boat so that we can sail away into the sunset, which means that it's working because it's glowing, which means that the spirit is happy. <sighs> I think you're making a couple leaps there. I, well, we, we did leap across oh numerous boats. What is the glowing? Is it just glowing or is it doing anything? It's glowing. Um, and you see every now and then a little spark of lightning come off the mast. Um, happy lightning? Hi, welcome to Lightningology. Lightning has no emotions. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> it's just energy. It's just pure energy. Uh, it is it has heat. Uh, when making contact with wood, it creates a like, kind of pattern, but uh, there is no emotion pairing with lightning, aside from it being cast from a spell. Uh, you can't tell the emotions of a torn-off boat mast. What do you mean mm -hmm. I can't insight check the mast? I can't insight check the lightning? <laughs> no, you may not. Uh, what you can do instead is please roll me a dexterity check. Check or saving throw? Uh, saving throw. My bad. Okay. Oh, there's my usual rolls. There we go. Every the world. Don't worry, all the world is back to normal. I rolled a four. Uh, please take two four. points of lightning damage. Total at eight. Does the uh, eight? Does the eight make a difference? It does not, in any sense of the word. No. Uh, please say, take two points of lightning damage. I don't like that. Yeah. Gandhi, can you make me a dexterity saving throw with disadvantage because you're wearing metal? I. What do you mean? It's armor. It's supposed to protect me. Yes. However. Okay, you said a dexterity saving throw. Mm hmm. Hmm. 
I don't have anything that helps with that. So that's going to be uh, it's going to be an 11. Please take six points of lightning damage as you are shocked by the mass as well. Okay. Is this this is a bad idea. Is it's sparking. I'm letting you know this right now. It's not stopping anytime soon. I'm aware. <sighs> okay. I am going to use my counter destruction feat to make a oh, constitution no. saving throw to try to resist the damage and reflect it back into uh, the lightning. The mast? Okay, let me look up the, the exact wording real quick to make sure that this this that this works. Uh, okay, 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 okay. What are you doing to my balling guy? <laughs> hey, don't look at me! Don't look at me! I'm uh, just here! <laughs> the phrasing on this says that you reflect it back at the creature. This is a mast. Okay, I would like to argue we didn't say a, source, we said creature. Aha! I would like to argue that there is a spirit within the mass that is the creature. That, yeah, that's kind of how spirits work. Uh, however, the mass is shocking you, so the mass is currently the source. Yes, but why is the mass shocking us? Because it has a spirit, and the spirit is angry. Do you have one of the spirit inside the mast? It doesn't say I need line of sight. It says when I take damage. We know this. We know there is a living spirit inside this boat. Okay. I have to prove to the spirit that I am the alpha male. <laughs> God no! Get that toxic masculinity out I'm of here. I'm gonna shock you again for safety measures. Uh, but uh, no, you cannot reflect the lightning back. Damn it! Fine. I walk away. Ow. Um, what do you two do? Well, Gunny walks away. <laughs> Lagaya, do you not walk away? I stare at the vast confusedly. Please roll with dexterity saving throw. Yeah, okay. Which one is. None of them are great. It's fine. What? What's really fun is I can hey, always tell hey, when players Hey, that's says, oh my a God. nine. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's oh, that's a seven points of damage. Okay. Ow. That one got you like right in the back of the knee. Ow. Okay. Oh God. Well, two minus seven. Uh, seventy. Oh, that's worse than I realized. That would that would itch while you walk too. God. Okay. Ow. 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 All right. I guess I'm go. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> uh. How are we supposed? Okay. I'm gonna back up from the mast. Okay. I'm already on the next boat over. I'm just oh. asking every person I come across, do you know anyone who knows how to fix a boat? Uh, n not that boat. Uh, guy, are you still on the boat? Kalorok's not getting shocked by things, right? No, he's on the, he's on the ground. Wait, hmm? He is currently... Uh, sleeping in a hammock. Oh, I thought you said he was on the ground, and I was yes, like, "What?" Wasn't, sorry. No. Okay. Um, at this point, like, guys, and uh, are you on the boat or no? I think once I see Gunny going off, I'm gonna try and run after Gunny. Like, wait, okay. ah, don't leave me. Um, as you look behind you, you see the mass start to rise up a good foot uh, off of the 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 ship itself. Uh, Gunny, I don't know where you're, Gunny. I'm looking for someone to help look us to fix the boat. You might want to look at the boat. I look at the boat. Why is um, the mast floating? I was going to ask why. What, there's, some, there's some people trying to gather around who look at the boat and they start talking. Isn't that Kaduna's boat? What's well, Exeek's boat? Is she back? Is she doing this? They're talking at Kaduna's boat. We're just trying to bring the stuff back so that we can fix it. But the mast is not cooperating. It is damaging the boat. You can mm -hmm. see it smashed and cracked the boat here, and it's now shocking anyone who gets close. Anyone... What did you do about it? You did this? 
Uh, we did nothing. We are trying to make it so we that the boat might can be repaired. We made one of the dents on the boat, and we will apologize to the boat when we get a chance. Well, then get your chance. What are you doing? It's currently shocking anyone who stands on that boat. Why well, do you get to stop? I'm assuming someone has to go talk to it, and we're waiting for Abdik to finish talking with her mom, which is, you know, kind of important, and we don't want to interrupt their family time. Um, you notice that the air around the boat is starting to darken. Ha. Camera pans over. Abtik, you have on your arm what looks to be, uh, at first glance, uh, two rows of teeth pointed at one another inside a double line band. Uh, but you know that it's not teeth. You know that the world uh, has a maw where the afterlife is, and it crashes open and closing, and from above and below, there are these mountains that separate spirits and mortals. Those that die get safe passage through it, but you know about this maw for your studies. Um, and this tattoo mimics those mountains. You currently have a tattoo on, on <coughs> you of the mountain, which stands for a journey to life, strength, and sturdiness. It stings, it's fresh, but it's yours. At this point, you hear shouting coming from the rear end of the flotilla in the direction of your boat. What's going on? I don't know. I've been here all this time. Uh, I go. Uh, I go outside. You go outside and you see um a large crowd is trying to gather near the back end of the flotilla. And moving through the crowd, you can see a, a small little thunderstorm starting to appear around your boat. Uh, Mama, I'll be right back. Go. Yes, go. Yeah, I cast Spider Climb on myself and I just... Something really off-putting about just this, like, seven-foot-tall, uh, seven-foot-tall tiefling crawling and walking around on sheer surfaces onto this flotilla. Some of that had really unnerved me. Um, but you do come to looking at this small little thundercloud starting to form around your boat, the source which appears to be the mast. You see Gani and Lagaya. Hey, we brought the mast back. What is happening? I Gani don't. Is visibly pouting. I don't. I the boat is angry. Well, I mean yes, but is is that a dent? Is that a new dent? We it was an accident. We were trying to lower the mast down to cross, and it, one end was wet and it might have slipped. And we're really sorry. We're gonna it's, apologize. To, I'm gonna apologize to the boat. It's okay. It's it's fine. Gunny, are you okay? Do you need a hug? Fine, he, just... he might still be covered in lightning. Be careful. Uh, oh. Yes, it is shocking anyone who comes close to it. Uh, yep. Tell the rock's fine, though, I checked. Oh, good. Um, he is in the middle of that, though. Oh, bad. Um, okay, well... Uh, you know, I'm just... You, you know what? Uh, today is a day for, for revelations and, and, and reunions and other R words. I'm going to make my way across the rope. Do you want us to come with? No, it's... Okay. I think th this is a me thing. Well, okay. Uh, Before we... you go over, I'm just going to hand you the spell scroll of shield that you gave me a while back. Oh. Just in case. <laughs> okay. Um, th thank you. Yeah. And if you need us, just uh, yell, and we will be there. Got it. Uh, all right. Um, 
All right, you got Kidlot. Come on. You walk across the, the rope, and to all others, you disappear into this cloud. Oh, cool. And that is where we're going to take a break. Oh, cool. Cool. Well, thank you all for being with us so far. I uh, hope you've enjoyed cool. the show so far. We'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes. So stretch <clears> your legs, get some water, get some snackies. And we'll be back for part two of tonight's episode. Hey, cool. Paladin. What the yeah, fuck? what's up? Huh? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, man. This has been the weirdest session of comedy and tragedy. All right. We'll be back, everyone. We love you. Goodbye. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Tampo Episode 9, Surrender. When last we left off, uh, Abtik had gotten a tattoo from her mother, uh, one of the mountains. And Gani and Lagaya had walked a boat mast to the boat that it belongs to, only to start watching it spark and glow and float. Wanting to adjust the problem, Abtik walked across the rope to the cloud that was forming and disappeared from view. Let's do this. Abtik. That's me. You start walking into this cloud and you find yourself walking for quite a while. Um, am I walking on flat surface? Does it still feel like I'm on the rope or am I it, on... It feels like you're on, on wood. Like in, you're on the deck. Okay. Uh, is there anything around me? I'm still walking. Do I see anything? You're walking down the length of the boat. You're, you've got the mast to your left where it's floating and glowing. You've got the rail to your right, but you're walking and it, you don't see an end to the mast. Okay, so it's not the it's not the eight feet traveling with me. It just seems to go on forever. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll look at the mast. Is the whole thing glowing? Like what? It, uh, as far the as I can see, the line marks on are glowing. Okay. And as you're walking, you hear the sound of something swimming. Off to your left. And you hear a voice call out. Peekaboo. I don't see you. You're not trying. You're not, are you playing? I will. So, okay. Um, past the mast, which is on my left, do I see the other end of the boat? Um, you looking to the left, you see the other railing of the boat. Okay. Um, but as you do, you see something immediately duck underneath where the mast is. Okay. I um, see you. I look under the mast. You see the briefest moment of, of movement before you see it go up. I follow it. I follow it. As you go up, you, you notice there's no feet walking next to you. And you stand up and you see this eel. Its head is a good three feet tall and it stretches all the way back towards the end of the mass you had passed already. It has this long elongated mouth going past where an eel's mouth should be and you see all kinds of different teeth some made of metal some made of coral some made of gold as it smiles with all six of its eyes there's no pupils to them just this kind of bluish glow coming from its eyes and its mouth and its gills as many as they are going down its back Peekaboo. I see you. I see you. 
Where have you been? I've been away. Why? I was sent away for a while. Did you think of me while you were gone? I see you already made other friends. I can have more than one friend. Can you? Yes. Because you're only here because you had nowhere else to be. Because your mom was mad at you for a while. <laughs> Peekaboo. And it ducks down below. I look for it. You go down below and you see it slithering on the ground. I waited for a while. I thought to myself, she's my friend. She's going to come back. She's going to come back. And here you are. You're back. And it only took you how many years? I didn't know if I was welcome back. Either way, you're here again. What are you doing to the boat? I'm not doing anything. I'm just expressing myself. We used to do that. I would talk with you. We would sing. You used to write stuff on me. Just like your mother and grandmother before you. Do you want to play a game? Did I know my mom? Did I know my mom would write stuff on the book too? Can you make me a wisdom check? Sweet. It's cocked. Same number. Uh, that's a five. A five? Cool. That was the DC. Oh, neat. Uh, you remember that your mom would just like carve little doodles, but nothing intricate. Okay. You, you carved something new. You carved something new, little Aptik. You carved a spell. What spell? Can't you read your own handiwork? I've made it real big for you. Real big. Because I need you to learn it because I don't feel too good. Everything really hurts. All right. Um, I'm going to look around and see if I see any n different carvings. You're looking at the carvings on, on the mass, and they're the only carvings here that are recognizably yours. You start looking it over, looking it over, and you realize that all the carvings you made is one spell. Cool. Can I roll Arcana? Yes, you can. I love you. It's a 24. A 24? You look it over and you try you start to spin the mast over to try and figure out what all of it is. And you start piecing it together. You start piecing together what all the different writings mean. And eventually you have this spell erupt into your mind you it's one you don't need to prepare because you made it you know it innately you remember times when your friend got hurt or damaged 
and you needed something else that could fix him. And so you made a spell. Cool. Can't stand you at all. It's hurt for a while, being in two places at once. But now you're here. Now you're here. Yeah, I can fix you. Please? Uh, yeah. Um. I'll grab the mast. Mm-hmm. Um, as you grab it, its length shortens, and you find yourself near where the mast should be. And in your hands, while it's sparking like this and glowing, it doesn't weigh a thing. But as you hold on to it, it starts to spark against you. It starts to electrify you. And I need you to take 12 points electricity damage. Okay. Stings like heck, but gonna uh, place the mast on the, I'm gonna put the, the two pieces together. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cast Faiza. You see the wood start to re-splinter and affix itself seam by seam by seam to one another. Can you please roll the 68? Sure. So many D8s. It's a lot more D8s than I have. I'd offer to lend you some of mine, but we know they're not going to roll well. <laughs> 7, 13, 21, 23, 26. 26. The burn marks disappear, and as you finish the spell, the cloud dissipates, the glowing stops, and the mast appears as if it had never been broken in the first place. Your boat, aside from the cracks in the front of the ship, is whole. Gunny and Lagaya, you see the cloud, oh, oh, the dark cloud disappear as you see uh, your friend holding the mast in place, letting go, and the mast staying in place, attached to the ship. I think Lagaya looks at the mast and then sees the dent and just goes, Ugh. We're still gonna need those nails. I don't know. Did, did, did Paladin. D didn't fix the dent, are you sure? I yes. mean, I feel like that's part of the effect of, of the spell, is it repairs Single the ship. Single break or tear. Yeah. I can fix those tomorrow when I have my fourth level spell back. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. Uh, we can fix that uh, manually if we have to uh abtique yeah you uh you good is it good are they good Your i don't friend? know I, I i mean like so so she says this more to 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 herself and the mask that she's still standing next to really and she's like she like pats the mask like i don't know you got kid lot are you fine are you good you here coming from the boat very faintly. Peekaboo. That too. Uh, do they hear it or just me? Just you. Okay. Uh, we're fine. We're good. Very convenient. Um, I should probably go 
tell my mother that everything is fine. Oh, okay. But yeah, the yeah. mast is the mast is fixed. Um, oh, okay. Do you want us to come? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, can you also tell the boat? I'm sorry for making the dent. You, why don't I think you you can come oh, okay. over? Am I okay? I will walk over to the boat. I will get on the boat. And sort of very tentatively put my hand on the mast and be like, um, hey, um, sorry for uh, making the dent in the front. Um, we'll fix it. I promise. Uh, yeah. His name is Igat Kidlat. I'm sorry, Igat Kidlat. There is no response. I figured. Don't. But you definitely feel like something is giving you the side eye. Yeah, I, f I, f I felt that. Yeah, I don't talk. These aren't. Uh, this is not my dominion. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Well, I don't. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Sorry. So sorry. I say again to the boat. We can. We can go talk to my parents now. Okay. Um, you, you, so you head off the boat? Yeah. You all head off the boat, and glancing behind you, Abtik, you see that in the front of the boat, there is this newly assorted row of what look to be carvings of teeth near the front of the boat, as well as six spots painted on in blue dye. That's cool as hell. Uh, I regard it with some attention before going back to my mother's boat. Um, you head back to your mother's boat and inside you see her cooking. Uh, I knock on the the little window thingy. You hear her call out, I can't hear you knocking on cloth. You have to knock on the wood or come in. So then I poke my head through with a bit more enthusiasm this time. As your mother turns to you, the smile doesn't fade this time. We fixed the boat. I fixed the boat. Good. I know you could do it. Are you hungry? Yes. Come here. Uh, and she ha and she has in front of her this pot. Um, from it comes the smell of ginger and spices. Mm. Uh, can my friends come in too? Of course they can. Come on. Stepping in further, you also smell garlic. Yes. And heading over to where she is putting, she's pouring diff different portions of this rice mixture into bowls. You realize that your mother has made lugoff. There's chicken in it. <laughs> yes, I'm looking to I'm looking to Mackenzie for the metric of how excited I should be about this food. <laughs> For anyone who's no, curious, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm excited about all the food. There is no metric. It is just one anyone, zero to a hundred. For anyone curious, Luga is a hot porridge with a base of chicken, ginger, and garlic. Most often topped with a boiled egg, freshly chopped greens, and fried garlic. This hot soup is a comfort dish. Hell yeah. I'm real excited. <laughs> it's good stuff. It's good stuff. I know it by um, a different name, but it's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Um... As she serves you different bowls, she has different uh, cups filled with water, and she has uh, in in a container um, something that smells a lot stronger than water. Uh, and she looks at you and looks at it, and, like has this moment of crisis. 
as she looks at you and you realize that this woman uh definitely now definitely hasn't felt like she's in her late 30s early 40s but now it definitely feels like she's in her late 30s early 40s looking at her daughter as she offers the jug over i take it um a little hesitantly i mean i know the last time you saw me i was definitely not old enough to drink this no it's very weird for me i'm trying to get past it i could just drink water it's your choice i'm not forcing you i'll just have a little okay uh it's strong whatever you just drank is pretty strong how strong not strong enough to make you make a constitution saving throw okay um, Good, because that it was a bad roll. <laughs> um, but you start eating, and your mother starts eating, and eventually your father comes in uh, with uh, a different dish with him, which he sets off to the side so much as food. he as he joins in with, with consuming the gaw. What's the other dish? Right. Uh, like she, <laughs> he comes in with it, and like I think we all kind of look over at it, like what. What you got? <laughs> um, uh, he kind of like brushes off his hand and goes, eat your food, eat your food. All right, I start, I, I continue eating my food, but I'm like side-eyeing this this new food that's here. As you all kind of finish your first plate at the, either around the same time, your father very deliberately gets a second helping and just kind of eats it slowly while looking at you. <sighs> God, it's the power move. The disrespect. <laughs> Um, I feel but, like I'm five. <laughs> um, but but he finishes it after he's done teasing, and he pulls up this other other uh, dish and remove removes the cloth over it. And you're looking at a, a small little tray of biko. And biko for people in the audience, biko is a dessert or afternoon snack. It's made from uh, glutinous rice, coconut milk, and brown sugar. And the resulting resulting dish uh, treat is uh, served in a banana leaf. Um, if you wanted like a rough description of what it looks like, uh, imagine if you will uh, a more sugary rice crispy treat oh. um, that isn't as hard or tough to chew through. That sounds great. That's one of the ones I haven't tried yet in the book that I'm jealously eyeing and wanting to eat. It's real good stuff. Thanks, Paladin. I'm glad. It's oh, I, it sucks it looks, that I don't have any. It looks so good. God. Yeah, it's we put it a dedicated food section in our book for a reason. God. Yep. Yep. Um, but as as you finish up the bico, uh, your your mother slides out uh, a smaller uh, cooking pot from underneath the main one. And now the smell of that is go going through the tent as you smell Ginatang Bilo Bilo. It's, uh, it's uh, a hot soup-like dessert with coconut milk as the main ingredient. Uh, sticky rice balls are put into it along with thick slices of sweet kamote, ube, and, uh, and this one you see as well, lanka. Ube! That's, that was that was Mackenzie. That was me. No, it was Lagaya in her heart. It was also Lagaya in her heart, but she's not as expressive. So, um, it's essentially uh, imagine like real fruit uh, served in a sugary <laughs> milk uh, dish. God, real fruit. What's that? What's that? Uh, not like those fake loops. Not those fake fruit loops. <laughs> no, like real fruit non loops. <laughs> No, 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 it's gotta be, I know we already had like, what we had lightningology earlier, but it has to be fruitology. <laughs> it has right. to be. I mean, the episode is rife with uh, ologies, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, just skip the ology this week and just have Yakety Sax play while we're trying to put the mask on. Metaology? I don't know, I don't know what to do. He's gonna choose something horrific, I know it's... <laughs> 
ology Do ology. It. We don't control the ology. We don't. Anyways. We don't control the meme. <laughs> Anyways. Um let me real quick, let me check something. Uh there we go. Okay. Okay. Um so then let's see here. Sorry everybody. My web captioners are decided to crash. It appears to be going again. There we go. Resuming game now. Um, but you have this nice late afternoon meal with your parents, Haptik. What nice. do you do now? Um, I, well, I mean, once we're all finished and full of food, um, I, I do formally ask my parents if I can take the Balangai. Um, now that it's uh, repaired and everything, um, may I uh, may I take the the Balangai? Um, your mother, still eating through the Bilo Bilo, uh, a- uh, asks, "What's your name?" Atik. Belongs to my daughter. You're my daughter. So yes. I'm going to cry again. Tears in my soul. Um, we will leave in the morning. Okay. Will you, are you all set to go? Uh, I'm not sure. We can give you some small supplies for a few days. That would be very kind. That would be very kind. We will get everything ready to give to you tomorrow morning, okay? Mm. You should be familiar with your boat. Yeah, I should. Um, we have a lot to catch up on. All of us. Like you see, she's kind of like, her voice has gotten small and she's kind of like, you know, she's six foot 10 now instead of seven foot because she's hunching. Why um, are you, why are you ba- so bashful right now? I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm real happy. Uh, I thought it was going to be harder than this, and I'm a. I, I suppose I still am a little upset at myself for forgetting, for forgetting. I don't know why it happened, but what matters is that you remember. And that is all I care about. Yeah, you're right. Love you. Love you too. I love you, oh clever daughter of mine. I love you, mama. You look, Gani and Lagaya. You just, you just see her mother beaming at her. Uh, proud to be able to say the, the sentence, but more proud to make her uh, be embarrassed in front of her friends. <sighs> I pretend not to notice. (laughs) Yep. The Bilo Bilo is really interesting all of a sudden. True, the truest of friends. (laughs) One of those fascinating. (laughs) Wow, look at the size of these rice balls. Wow. I swear, I've never had anything hard. It's very good. 
Um, do you want to walk back to the boat with us? Oh my, to see the boat in all of its grand boatness. I have looked at the mast for the past ye- many years. I'm good for now. You should have time with your boat. Okay. Um, we will go back now. You you make your way back to your boat, and your mother and father both hug you before you go. Nice. I swipe one more piece of Biko before I go. Um, and you head back to your boat, and as the light, uh, as the sun is setting, you see that the blue spots on the front of your boat are starting to glow. Like bioluminescent? A little bit, yeah. Nice. They're lighting up a good 30 feet around it, which is starting to annoy the boats that are within 10 feet of it. Um, um, so, as you're as you're walking by, uh, one person comes out from from their bungles. Aptique, what the fuck? <laughs> Look, I I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I I cannot control the spirits. The spirits have minds and desires of their own, but I will ask. Igarkitlat nicely. He's Stop. just staring at you with his Stop. hands on his hips. Stop staring at me. I, I hop onto my boat and I put my hands on the mast and I put my forehead on the mast and I'm like, Igarkitlat, I'm very, so very happy to be here with you in this space. I Can you dial it back? I don't want people mad at me. Uh, the lights start to dim, um, but uh, you hear a finally, um, and for a moment, uh, one of the one of the eyes flares brightly, <laughs> um, and you see the man grab his eyes and sell it backwards and fall into his ship, going, "What the fuck?" Don't anger the spirits; they have minds and desires of their own. You know this. Um, it's quite it's quite an about You hear, oh. I'm I'm blinking, but it's still there. You'll be fine. Ah, oh, it's in my eyes. It's like a little splotch. Oh, I. Why? Just don't don't follow it. If you follow it and you start walking, you might fall off your boat. Don't do that. Don't follow it. Don't follow the light. He clearly cannot hear you. Oh, I'm so oh, what? I'm so sorry. I, I like forehead to forehead to mast with with the Balan guy. So happy to have a temperamental boat. Um, but you're now with your boat and you're now with your group. Do you all rest or what do you do? I have a very important question. Uh, now that you remember that your name was previously Aptik, do you want us to call you that? Or do you wish to? Uh, what 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 name should we call you now? Uh, yeah, you can call me Abtik. And or do you want us to call you that? There's no, a no big difference. No, no, no. Um, you can call me Abtik. Okay. Okay. Um, and and do we do we need to refer to the uh, to the Balangai as Igat Kidlat, or could we just refer to it as the Balangai? I it has a name. I would refer to it as a name, unless we want to refer to Abtik as the Wizard. I mean, the Wizard is very good at what she does. The, she is. She's she repaired very good. a boat today. No, yeah. I I uh, um Igat Kidlat. It's okay. nice to meet you, Igat Kidlat. There is no response. 
I figured. <laughs> the guy is trying, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> trying so... to make friends with the boat. <laughs> Let her have this, dang it. Uh, if I, uh, Aptique will, uh, <laughs> will, like, she'll do one of those, like, like, shoulder hugs. Like, she puts both your, both her hands on your shoulders and, like, mm-hmm. squeezes you in, like, a, yeah. a hug sort of thing. It's like, I appreciate it. I, you're, you're great. Thank you. I'm, I've got a lot to think about. Okay. Um, not, not to say that I have a lot to think about. Please leave me be. I just, I have a lot to think about. Well, um, I'm here. I'm sure Gunny is as well, if you want to talk about it. Yes. And we're not, clearly not the best at some things, but we are we can listen. I, I feel like we're pretty competent at most things. I'm just going to look at the dent in the boat. Just <laughs> and, and if you don't want to talk, uh, I can uh, finish teaching the guy how to uh, uh, fire a gun before we go to bed. Are you actually going to fire the gun, or...? I think at least once. I wouldn't do it right now. That is my thinking exactly, because it is almost the- it is the nighttime. That. Uh, you just hear a, a faint, uh, coming from Talarok. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope he's okay. He really might need to sleep that off. He fell pretty far. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't get any of that uh, the, that alcohol from Abtique's mom, did we? No. Okay. I don't think that would make things she any She very better. pointedly offered it to her daughter. Okay. All right. I just, I, okay. No, okay. All right. Um, you know, I think a full day's rest will do Talarok some good. And then, you know, we'll see how how he's doing in the morning. And uh, yeah, I I don't know how to feel right now. I'm happy. Yes, I have my parents back not that i didn't have them i have my balan guy and and it got kid lot i have you all which is like three whole more things than i had before any of that but why did i forget my name oh also also yes my mom oh. tattooed oh, me. Oh, oh my! Oh. oh my God! Congratulations! That's oh, whoa, whoa! That's a big deal. I thought you were pointing past yourself for a second. I was like, "What's what's behind a boutique? And then I've realized it was on your arm. That's very uh, cool. That's the rest, amazing. Also, the rest of the flotilla, they're back there. But yeah, I it hurts. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. Wait till you get one on your stomach. Is that an option for me? When you're, maybe, eventually. Every I think everyone can, when they get to a, come do something you know. Okay. Big enough. It's just diff. I hope you never get a tattoo on your stomach for the reason why I got a tattoo on my stomach. Uh, I will accept that. Yeah, I hope you get one though one day and accomplish something really amazing. And it's wonderful. Uh, Comes with a lot of experience. That is a really pretty one. Thank you. What does it mean? Um, it means uh, life and strength and sturdiness. Hmm. And all of the other things Paladin said when he told me about the tattoo when I got God, it. God, who's Paladin? <laughs> We don't have a paladin in our group. <laughs> paladin looks like he's going to murder us. 
presenting Murderology with Paladin. Uh, I wasn't gonna, yeah. Uh, I had a thought, it's gone now. The threat of Murderology took it from you. No, it was the laughter and antagonizing our DM. Uh-huh, real funny. Really is. Real funny. We have one episode left, Paladin. You can kill my character. I fear no god. <laughs> but you all, you all had to bed that night. Um, and... Aptik, your dreams are pleasant. You dream of swimming through an infinite ocean, a large eel guiding you along. Gunny, you dream about your husband and sharing a morning meal pleasantly, just talking about nothing. Magaya. I die for my insolence. Magaya, you dream of sailing across the open waters. And you dream of a beast in the sky. You dream of massive wings tipped with raptor's claws. You dream of eyes like mirrors. You dream of a crown of feathers, each as sharp as a sword. And screaming, you awaken. Cool. Do I wake everyone else up? Let's find out. Yes. Hi, you wake up to the sound of Lagaya screaming. Have you had enough tea? Well, okay. uh, is that Hold when up. you ask someone when they wake up? Sorry, I was, I was, never mind. I, I, I was dreaming about something else. Is uh, everything okay? Uh, yes, no, maybe. Oh, God. Uh. I didn't wake up anyone outside, did I? Uh, I get up and I poke my head outside the, the domicile. Uh, you poke your head out and you find that you are you don't see the flotilla. What? what? I, I go outside, what? You're looking out front and you don't see the flotilla. And at night, you feel this larger shadow encompass your group as you see this eagle of a size immeasurable stare down at you. And all three of you wake up screaming. Jesus. Okay. Oh, okay. This is the. Uh, why does this keep happening? No. What the? Nope. F- nope. No. It's. Nope. Mid to late morning. The first thing I do is I get up and I go outside. Is the flotilla still out there? The flotilla still out there. Okay. Did. Did. Uh, did. Oh. Uh, did. Did that all just. Uh, hell. The. What? Uh. Oh, so. so f- Optic just I, I just sink to the to the floor of the ship. What the frick? Uh, is everyone okay? Uh physically? Yes. As best as we can be. Do we know what exactly it was that we saw. I am going to venture a guess and say it was Minogawa. Given my father's uh, previous statements and general disposition. Wait, you had that dream? You had the 
Yeah, we all had that one. Oh, Jesus. Whoever that is. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I think I met someone once named Jesus. No, that's that's post-colonial. That did not happen. <laughs> that's post-colonial. Jesus does not exist here. There is no, <laughs> no God, Jesus. no Jesus, no Holy Spirit. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, uh, venturing a guess on that one because of my father. Um, hmm. uh, you know, uh, you know what? Uh, T Gani, oh, yes, T. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, and I, I will begin to prepare a morning tea. Um, as the tea is cooking, you hear footsteps and some creaking as you see uh, Abtik, your parents walking across to your boat. So she quickly, she quickly turns around and she like pulls her hands down her face to like try and school her expression into something neutral and not I just woke up screaming from a dream terrified sure uh, and then I turn back around um, you see them holding this large basket in between them from it you see different cooking supplies different food some basic supplies for a ship yeah. and you really and you, and you see poking at the top of the bag uh, a sailcloth Uh, I I go over and I I try and and help them as best I can bring it over. You help them out, and they they seem ob oblivious. Uh, they seem oblivious to your residual residual emotions from your nightmare, uh, as they talk idly about what what they're where they're going, what their business is in Kalahan, what they're going to do next with the island. Uh, and they help you set up the sailcloth. <clears throat> uh, what does it look like? It's this, uh, just this stretch of light blue cloth. Light blue. Um, anything on it? Uh, nothing at all, no. Oh. Does it very obviously match other sailcloths in the flotilla? Yes. Sweet. Uh, oh. Like she, she like she's so distracted by the dream. Like she gets the she. It takes her a minute to understand the implication. Oh. Me. You look over at them and you see they have kind of these uh, small dark bags under their eyes. Oh, did you spend all night making this? It's okay. No. You're off to do something important for your friend. We want to do something important for you. No. I mean, yes, but no. And then she just runs up and she like m mama in one arm and father in the other arm and then uh, as and then I mass... kill them. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hugs. Okay. <laughs> it's a hug. Is this what y'all feel like? <laughs> uh, they they uh, accept the embrace and, and hug you back. Um, there are forearms Where they your die. and swarming you in, in hugs. Uh, thank you for the sale and the supplies and the everything. And I really don't want to leave. <laughs> You'll always be able to find us, okay? Yeah. Where are you going after Kalahar? 
Uh, most likely down to Ato Ato, uh, oh. and then back up. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We we were there recently. Were you? Okay. Yes. They they had a whole slew of incidents regarding their festival. Were you there for that? <sighs> that is the noise Lagaya makes from the background. Is <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, you, we were there. Are you all okay after that? Like, I know you're here, but are... Were you okay? We... If, you know, it was a lot. But we're fine. Okay. Stay safe and come back to us, okay? Of course. Your mother very intensely in your ear... I don't want to spend years w waiting for you again. No, I will as often as I can. Okay. Um, they, they slowly let go and walk their way back to the opposite side of the rope. Um, and, and they look at it and you realize as, as you've been going across this, you realize this, this rope has been it's old. It's frayed. It's been here for a while. And they kind of look at each other uh, as they look at you. And your mother pulls out a knife and grabs a rope and looks at you sweetly. I love you. I love you too. I love you, my big, strong, clever girl. I love you, Mama. And she cuts the rope. I'm gonna cry again. Like, Aptik is visibly attempting to not cry. We're being good friends again and not noticing. I will help sail the boat. You have proficiency in water vehicles. No, but Talarok has taught me how to hold the steering device so that we go in the direction it's, we're supposed to. I Not will hard. help it, you. You don't have to make checks. You just determine your speed. <laughs> I am doing what Talarok has taught me over okay. our previous time together as adventurers, and I am holding the thing in the direction we need to go. Where do you all go? Um, are we on the western side or the eastern side of Kandaya? You're on the eastern side by now. Then, yeah, we, I, I head east to get us, or, or rather I say, hey, Gani, go east. Okay, east around the island, and I'll no, no, we're figure already, out. No, 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 east, we're already east, just, just. No, no, just go east. We don't need to continue going just east into open water. Oh, all right, good. Where are you headed? Back to Patawanan. Okay. L the guy um, is slightly less helpful for most of the day, just sort of awkwardly you staring. One of your in the teammates needs to be elsewhere. Oh, Talarak needs to go home. I thought we were. I thought we were going to get the boat first, uh, but no, we'll we'll go. Well, Talarak, how home get? Um, Talarak just goes. Uh. Okay. Um, that's. So I think he mentioned being from Bahinga. Yes. Be a quick pit stop then. Yes, yeah. Bahinga to Bahinga. So yeah, we need to go you around. Head right. west. Yeah. yeah, we go yes. the other way. Got to uh, turn the boat around. Oh, oh, so, hey, hold up, hold up. I know where I'm going. I know how to do this. Give me a moment. Okay. Um, Gani, you would know where Pahinga is. Okay. Um, given your travels with Talarak previously, and you make your way over the course of a week around the southern end of Pahinga and around the coastline, and as you rear up, getting closer and closer to where the hidden entrance is you see smoke. Massive clouds of black roiling smoke. 
And above that smoke, you see turning towards you is a giant eagle. Like, when you say giant eagle, Capital, like... not lowercase. A literal giant eagle, not a world-ending eagle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that okay. was my question. Mm. Yes. Like, normal eagle... You see that it looks towards you, and as it does, it caws out, and you could swear it's laughing. As it heads towards you, diving towards you, as you get closer and closer to Pahinga's entrance. We'll see y'all next week. Whoo! Talarak's gonna Christmas wake up Tumble. to some shit! Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm... Hey, Talarak, by the way, uh, this is Abtik, not Faiza anymore. Uh, also, there's an eagle coming right towards us. Get back inside. Also, our boat is sentient, and, uh, you know. A lot of things to catch him up on. Yeah. 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 So much. Oh, so gosh. much. That said, hello, Hi. everyone. Thank you for being here with us tonight. Uh, I am HTT Paladin, as I'm known online. I've been your DM of the evening. I am a freelance TTRPG graphic designer, game designer, and writer. I wish I had a better way to say two forms of designer, but I don't, so here we are. Me saying designer twice. Um, I am the co director for the Islands of Sina Una, and I have a Kickstarter up right now where I talk to other TTRPG developers and leads about making these books. It's called Polyhedral. I interview a bunch of cool names that you probably recognize, and uh, we're fully funded. Just trying to hit Chess Girls right now, so <laughs> check it out if you have the time. Go, uh, go, 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 go. Let's go with uh, Josh. Who are you? Hey, what's up? My name is Josh. You can find me on the internet at Joshua M. Simons across all social media platforms. I am a uh, freelance tabletop game designer. I'm also a variety streamer here on Twitch uh, just two days a week because I also have a day job that I try to, you know, juggle things with. Um, and I do things like this, which is fun. Um, uh, in addition to this uh, show, you can find me on Tuesdays over at uh, twitch.tv slash nomadic where I play in a uh, post-apocalyptic uh, deal. Um, and I have two last things that I would like to plug. First, uh, please uh, support Paladin's Kickstarter because there's a stretch goal where he does a backflip, which I really want to see happen. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Please make come on, Paladin come do on. a backflip. Hey, make Paladin um, do a backflip. 22K. Paladin at backflip. 22K, Paladin has to do a backflip. So if we can get to 22K, Paladin has to learn how to do a backflip. Here's the deal. Not gonna we're, happen, I'm only at 10K. We're not ending the stream until not Paladin yet. does a backflip. <laughs> Sorry, Rock um, Punch, we're taking over. We're commandeering. You see me just kind of like uh, exit the green screen. You hear some shuffling. You just hear, ah! And then you just hear me go groaning in pain for the next four hours until I pass out. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, yes, ever so happy. It is there. It is actually one of the stretch goals. If you look at the stretch goals on the Kickstarter, yes. I do a backflip is one of the stretch goals. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, the other thing, the last other thing I want to plug is, hey, we're doing pretty cool giveaways. Um, please enter. It's hashtag Eldritch and hashtag beyond. Great. Don't so, miss out on cool free stuff. Like, you can get a free remember, If you smash that subscribe button, you'll get triple the entries. So please remember to smash that subscribe button or renew your Twitch Prime subscription through Amazon. Yeah. Hit that follow if you don't have the money to subscribe because that still counts as support. And d d leave a comment in chat because we love you. Ring that bell. Mackenzie, you're up. Yes, hello. I've been absolute gremlin today. <laughs> I've been sick for a month, and this is the first day I felt marginally okay, and it's only come out in gremlin chaos energy. It's a month of gremlin chaos that has just been pent up because I have been too tired to move. Hi, I'm Mackenzie, Mackenzie Lane DA on Twitter. Uh, I am a TTRPG gremlin. I am over on Twitter at Mackenzie Lane DA, where I talk about all my cool work I have coming up as a D&D &D designer and writer. I have a bunch of cool announcements coming up, as well as a bunch of cool projects, such as MCDM's uh, Kingdoms of Warfare, as well as their online magazine Arcadia, whose 
uh, I believe their first issue is going to be coming out in January, which you can access via their Patreon. Um, last but certainly not least, I was the lead writer for the Islands of Sina Una, which is the wonderful setting we played in today, and we will play, we will be playing in for one more week for the finale next week. So if you like all the cool stuff you see, if you liked any of the subclasses or classes or spells or magic items and all of that, uh, please go check out the book over on thedeckofmini.com. You can buy the PDF right now, and hardbacks are still available for pre-order. Latia, the uh, the person of the hour. Oh boy, certainly. Uh, small disclaimer, the spell Faiza is not available in the Islands of No, Sina that Una. one's a custom spell for us. Paladin just loves me a lot. Hi, I'm Latia Jaquise at Latia, at Latia at me, uh, across all the social medias. It's my name. It's, it's my name. My name everywhere I can be found. Um, I am a streamer and a person of interest to people everywhere. Uh, you can find me on Sundays at twitch.tv slash Rivals of Waterdeep for Rivals of Waterdeep, where I play an air coker monk who uh, is accidentally a murder bird. Um, and uh, then you can find me here for one more week uh, for as, as, as Aptique, the uh, tiefling carabao mentala wizard of stuff. I also, uh, I'm Monty Cook Games' community relations coordinator, which is a super fancy way of saying community manager. Um, other than that, uh, come find me on Twitter where I uh, talk about planners and just basically spew stream of consciousness for 24 hours a day. I don't sleep. I don't. I don't. She knows um, she's lying. I don't sleep. Paladin can't prove anything. Um, and then that's me. And then we also want to shout out to our uh, wonderful missing uh, player for the evening. Uh, CB, uh, Critical Bard, Omega Jones, play Talarok, the mangrove halfling Babylon with Bayani, the Abayon. Say that five times fast. Yeah. Uh, we miss you. We love you. We hope everything is okay. And we hope that we will see you next week. We love you so super much. Uh, Paladin, uh, say stuff. Sure. Before we all go away for the evening, we do have some giveaways to settle out. The winner of the Eldritch Foundry giveaway is ever so happy. Congratulations on your win. Yeah, but who are they? Well, they're very happy. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't write them. We're in reality. I don't know shit. <laughs> to, to, to read a quote from, from our Zoom chat, I can't make my face into a gun, but I sure as fuck trying. Uh, gun, emoji. Paladin. gun emoji. Thank you very much. Ma you uh, know, right. if, you're right. if, if you could make it into a gun, you would. Power. <laughs> um, and the winner of our D and D Beyond giveaway is Robogoblin zero one. Hey! Yeah! Excellent. Oh yeah. It's all and they deserve for dealing with us. It sure oh, is. My god. Oh uh, god. Thank you all for being with us tonight. It really means a lot that you tune in and watch us. Well, be emotional for about two and a half hours, three hours every week. And uh, we'll be back next week for the final episode of Tompo. And stay safe until then. Uh, we're not going to raid anybody tonight because D4 is doing a D4-thon. Uh, so if you want to watch some more of the wonderful D4 cast, stay tuned. Yeah. Have a good evening. Bye, Have a good weekend. Goodbye. Bye.